beautiful, great spotted cuckoo. Now, for those of you who haven't seen one of these before, that we do get them all, all around. But it's wonderful to see it because these cuckoos should have migrated by now. Or they're very close to migrating. This looks like it might still be a young one. And what I find really fascinating is how these cuckoos are, so they're called brood parasites. So what happens is the, um, the cuckoos, basically they lay their eggs in other birds' nests. And I'll tell you now exactly, each cuckoo species has got a specific bird that they like to parasitize. So these ones would lay their eggs... He's jumping about the pied starlings. Um, so, yeah, so some of the starling species. And then what happens is once these these little eggs hatch, the um, the adults the adult starlings then raise these cuckoos. So the adult cuckoos do not have anything to do with their chicks. And what happens then, once they get to a certain age, so I think this one would have hatched this season, so this summer down here, and is now very close to the age where it will, it will migrate north for the winter, for our winter. And I just think it's, it's amazing how these birds know. They've never been raised by, the, by their parents. They've been raised by a different species of bird completely, but yet they know they need to migrate north for the winter, and then... In the summer, they'll return again. 